All right, the fourth question is, a recent study has shown that there is a shortage of affordable housing needed by our workforce in Athens. What changes to our local code or other incentives will you advocate for athens Clark County? Would you consider an inclusionary zoning ordinance? Uh, so a few ideas that I want to mention here. I'm absolutely supportive of an inclusionary zoning ordinance. Uh, under Georgia law, this could be applicable only to um, to owner-occupied property, uh, not to rental property, which is unfortunate that if it was the case that we legally could have some set-asides in rental properties for affordability, I, I would I would support those. Um, but certainly as we see uh, us coming out of the economic trough that we've been in the last several years, housing starts have been up. We've seen applications for some new entire subdivisions, and I would want to see that uh, a substantial portion of those be set aside for affordability. The reality, historically speaking, in not only the, the region but in the country, has been that there's been very intentional segregation um, by race largely, but as an impact also by, uh, by income level. And I think we need to be just as intentional about reversing that. So uh, one of the things that I would like to see is as we negotiate with um, potential new developers in town um, when, when people seek rezonings that we make affordability part of the conversation. I think that absolutely needs to continue to be the case. Uh, I've also encouraged uh, looking at perhaps even some smaller single family lot development opportunities. So if you wanted to live on you know, 15 hundredths of an acre, as was commonly the case uh, really 100 years ago, that we could create a zoning category that would allow that kind of development. So the simple lot price, even in town, would be less substantial than currently exists. So uh, there's a couple things that are in the hopper that I'm looking forward to advancing.